Ken, two teenage best buddies, plus an Olympian who ran for the red, white, and blue. Two families deal with terrible loss. Today, those families confirmed the two-time Olympian and two Albuquerque Academy students died in the fiery crash at Sedona, Arizona yesterday. It was a guy's adventure that ended in the worst possible way. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Dick, yesterday morning, Trish Porter sent her husband, Pat, a text wondering when he was coming home from his guy's trip with his 15-year-old son, Connor, and his son's friend, Connor Manch. She didn't know that Pat's plane had already crashed. We met at the Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea. They were two athletes. Pat Porter, a dominating distance runner, two-time Olympian. Trish, a tremendous high jumper. Married in 1991, they settled in Albuquerque and had two kids, Connor and Shannon. In recent years, he was known for his great love of flying and the fun he had with the kids on his uh, kid trips. Sunday, Pat, Connor, and fellow Albuquerque Academy student Connor Manch took off for Sedona for one of those adventures. This is a picture from that trip. Yesterday morning, the three were on their way home when tragedy struck. Sedona police say Pat's Beach 60 struggled to take off from the Sedona airport, hit a fence at the end of the runway. The plane then plunged hundreds of feet into a ravine and burst into flames. Nobody survived. My daughter Shannon, who's 11, and I will miss dearly this other half of our family. Shannon remembered her father's sense of humor. Whenever he would take me skating, he would encourage me to jump high, spin fast, and do that skating thing and put those sharp things on my feet. Connor Porter was going to be a freshman at Albuquerque Academy, known as an up and coming fencer. Connor Manch, in the same class, was described by his family as a boy who had a mind for invention and creativity. Anybody who knew Connor understand, understood how unique and special he was. An incredible musician, a strong athlete, and a great student. He loved life, his friends, his school, and was very, very proud to tell others how much he loved his sister Shannon. I am so glad he had such a great life. I am so glad I spent every minute of it loving him instead of fighting, because you never know when God is going to take them from you. Trish says she fell in love with Pat because of his sense of humor. Fittingly, the last text message he sent to her was a joke. Back to you, Dick. Okay, Alex, finding the cause of that crash will likely take months. In 2003, another plane had trouble taking off from Sedona, also hit a fence and crashed below the runway, also killing three people. That crash was blamed on a fuel problem.